Hey y'all. Today I'm building a house in The Sims 4, but all of my monitors are going to be in black and white. By using this handy dandy tool, I am going to turn all of my monitors black and white so I can't see what I'm doing. And then we'll do the grand reveal at the end to see if I made something good or something horrible. First things first, I'm going to build the shape of the house. Here is the general shape of the house. I actually want to make this like a fake garage. I'm in the mood. Well, I was hoping for a double garage, but I seem to have underestimated how big that would be. That doesn't look good. I'm gonna add some columns around it to sort of shape it. And to make it look more like a garage, I'm gonna add some outdoor lights next to it, like some of those. All right, let's raise this house up a bit. That is going to cause problems for the garage, I just now realized. Maybe the house stays on the ground. Let's take this path down the side of the house and maybe to like the back here. Here, we can and put some landscaping. I'm just gonna do simple because I'm not the best. Also, I don't know what the colors are. Do they match? I don't know. Okay, there's some landscaping. Oh, the landscaping is going on the inside as well. <laughs> maybe I need to just make these smaller and have more of them. Okay, maybe that is better and now it's not like, I mean, it is creeping in on the inside a little bit, but not much. Easy fix. Let's get a fence. This is my favorite fence, but it might be too tall. I definitely like it down the side though. Gate back there. Oh, I could put another gate right there. That does look pretty cute. Tree these are so scary. Like, look how big they are. Let's just put one there and call it a day. Which one's dirt? I know this is the dark dirt. And you know what? I just, I'm gonna have to go with what I know. I'm too scared to do anything else. I think I'm going to do some landscaping right here just to fill in this gap. Some dirt in here. Okay, I'll put some over there too. Okay, I think that's good for landscaping. Let's actually get back to the house now. What? Call me crazy. I'm gonna make some, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make some architectural changes here. I just think I want this to be a little bit wider because I have this idea in my head. You know what? It's actually still not big enough. So I'm just gonna change my plan. Just realize that down here also needs to be changed. We'll make that work somehow. <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure it out. I do also need to have some columns holding up this patio. Oh, should I do something fun here? Ooh, that's so cute. I have no idea what the colors are and I have no idea if they match. I'm hoping they're all white. That'll just make it easier. I'm gonna put this round window here. Again, I don't know what the colors are. I don't know if I should just try to go for white. Is that like the safest choice? I might go real farmhouse with those square windows right there. I could squeeze in this front door right here. Y'all know that's one of my faves. And it fits like a glove. I could do the square one or I could do the one that's got like the curved door. I'm thinking I'm liking the curved door. Also, I don't know where the mailbox is. I'm just gonna add one in. I'm gonna add it right by the front door. No, I actually don't know where I'm gonna put this. Maybe out here. That's better. Okay, so I gotta add windows for the rest of the house. Okay, I think as far as windows go. We're done. None on this side. Don't be alarmed. And we've got some longer windows in the back. I do want to add a back door. Something cute and small. That could work. Let's bring these lights back here. I just want this whole house to be lit up. Can you tell what it looks like at night? Oh, see? How nice is that? Doesn't that look good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. By the way, if you didn't know, I have a brand new merch collection. I have the Yeehaw collection. Yeehaw, baby. You can check it out at shopixella.com. Here's what it looks like. Thank you for listening back to the game. Okay, so now we have to do the scary part, which is wallpaper. This is where it's all gonna go downhill. I just know it. We could do something simple like the siding. I don't know, like just like in hopes that it comes out looking sort of okay. I have an idea. I think we could use this like shingle pattern maybe. Ooh, maybe. Now that I'm looking at it, what if we did like a light color or I could choose like a random one and then like hope to God it matches with this. I'm gonna go for this one. I have no idea what color it is, not a clue. And then we'll bring the like shingle around around this one like square. And then if we want, we can separate it with like one of these. I think that's nice, that looks good. We could bring that all the way around the back if we wanna just add a little something something. Oh, that looks really pretty. Oh, okay. Do I wanna do that one here too? Oh my gosh, yes, that looks so nice. Okay, last thing before I go inside. Actually, no, two things. I'm gonna change the roof to be a darker color. What the heck, did I forget wallpaper right there? Oh, glad I saw that. And then I wanna add something like right here, whether it's like a tiny round window. Like, is that too many round windows? Is there such thing? Maybe this little guy. It kind of looks like an eyebrow. <laughs> I cannot believe I almost forgot about window boxes. Have I went and lost my mind? I love them. Should I put them here? No, I don't think so. But should I put them on every other window around the entire house? Absolutely, I should. I just found out that I have custom 
custom content shutters. That looks amazing. But I want to be able to upload this on a gallery without it being hidden. I could do some sort of like awning. You know what? No, maybe it's fine as I keep looking. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm going inside. I'm done with this. I'm going in. Okay, welcome to the inside. Let me give you the tour. So here's going to be a bathroom. This is going to be a, originally it was going to be kitchen and then dining room, but like, look at how big this space is. Maybe I could do like a breakfast nook or something over here. I did some sort of like separation right here. Possibly could do something like that. What if I did like booth seating? That would be so cool. Anyways, this is the living room. This is the dining room. Then you go upstairs and we have two bedrooms. This is kind of an interesting shaped one, but it's a bedroom. And then like a really, really big bathroom that they can share. So first thing, let's light this bad boy up. Also, yes, this is still going to be a garage. I'm going to put some fake cars in there. One fake car coming up. There you go. Some nice garage flooring. There you go. It goes all the way up. Oh, you know what? I guess you would technically need a door to like get in the garage. So let's put a door there. As for flooring inside, my go-to... Oh no, it's one of these floorings. I can't remember which one it is. Oh my gosh, I hope this is the right one. Let's do like a fun flooring in that bathroom. And down here, we'll do like this herringbone one. Cute. As for wallpaper, I really want to use like some fun wallpapers. I don't know what they are, so cool. As for this like kitchen area, maybe I could do something like this. This is nice. Can't fix the stairs, that looks way better. And then for the bathrooms, I don't really like tile wallpaper, so I think I'm just gonna go for something kind of basic. Like that'll work in that one. And then upstairs, I might go like really, really boring basic. I could also do that. Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> Let's bring this wallpaper upstairs stairs and around the stairs. And then for the bedrooms, that is gorgeous. Let's do that in that one. And then in this one, should I do like the leaf? I think the leaves are fun. Again, I don't know what the colors are, but hopefully that's a good one. Okay, cool. This is fun. We've got some fun wallpapers everywhere. Love it. Let's start with the entryway. Look at this most beautiful, perfect corner for like a little table. Again, I'm trying not to use custom content right now because like I want you guys to be able to download this. Okay, let's go for... I like this. I like the contrast. A cute painting on the wall. Perhaps a bunny. I can squeeze in a plant right here. A couple of plants right here. And then on the other side, I think a nice lamp. Very cute. I think a rug right here would be fantastic. And moving on. Oh wait, I just realized there's no railing on the stairs. I'm gonna go with that railing because it's safe and it, I don't think it can hurt me. And I like it. I think it looks really pretty. Let's move on to this little bathroom. Um, Again, <laughs> that little spot. We could put a plant there. <laughs> Should I put a shower there? Will the shower even fit? It will, but it's gonna cover the window. I could put one of those showers that's like open, but like we've got all this room, you know? You could have a bigger shower than that. In fact, I've seen people do this where they put like half walls and then they put glass and then in here is a big giant shower how fun so i just like won't put a bathtub here i'll just put this but i could even do like a double shower double shower do you think i could put like a bench seat that would be awesome do you think there's something that i could use there's this hey that looks like a shower seat even something like that that's like a shower couch <laughs> That's really bougie. Or there's like this wood one too. That would work. Let's go for this wood one. That's super duper cool. We could also put this on this wall too. Oh, that's better. That's better. That is amazing. Oh my God. I wonder if I should put like a column or something. That's really cool. I wonder if your sim can get in there with the column there. Maybe I should get some skinnier ones. Those are very thick. Oh, what about this? This is perfect. These are just like plain Jane. Wham, bam, perfect. I love it. We've even got like bars of soap and stuff. Oh, it'd be cool if we had like a shelf back here too. Man, I'm going crazy with the shower idea. This is sort of what it would look like in a shower, but it sticks out kind of far. I'm thinking we could get away with just like a shelf like this, maybe two. We could put like a bar of soap on there. What else? Some random products. Oh, that's sunscreen. I don't know why you would need that in the shower, but whatever. Here's some more stuff. This is so cool. This is working out really, really well. What else could we put in here? Maybe not an electric razor. That seems like a fire hazard. Oh, this. Oh, this would have also worked. It has the products in it. I didn't even realize. Like I could also just have that. It's so bad that I kind of prefer this. Like, I know the other one was more creative, but like, this is, I don't know. I just like the way that it looks. All right, call me crazy. I'm putting a hanging plant in the shower. It likes the humidity, okay? As far as the rest of this bathroom goes, we're gonna do a really long sink situation here. You guessed it, double sinks, double mirror. And in between, we need a sconce light. Pretty! 
Or we could do two sconce lights and I could put like a towel thing in the middle. Oh, what if I use these? Those are cool. Cause obviously we need to like dry our hands. Hee <laughs> look at this little guy. Okay, what if I put it like down here and then right above it, I put like a small painting or something just to like fill in. Cause I feel like we need to fill up the space. Might size that down and put that there. That is super cute. Okay, I'm gonna put some random bathroom items up here. Some products. Okay, and maybe a little thing of flowers. I think that's nice. I think I'm gonna put a big rug in here and then over here is where I'm gonna put the toilet. That's why the toilet paper was over here, so I didn't forget. <laughs> You'd hope I wouldn't forget, but I might. All right, let's put the toilet paper right there. And above the toilet, some beautiful artwork of pears. These curtains somehow magically fit perfectly. Ooh, but I think that looks a little bit cuter. That's like the nicest bathroom I've ever made. Look at that shower. Oh my gosh, I would love that shower. Moving on to the little breakfast nook. I did say that I was thinking about maybe doing like booth seats. Now, I think there are already already booth seats in this game. I haven't used them in so long though that I don't even know where they are anymore. Are they considered a couch? I found them. They do have a middle piece. If I do this, I don't think it'll be functional, but it'll look so cool. Unless I just move this wall, then I can sort of squeeze it in a little bit better. Isn't there one with a built-in table? I don't think I'm making that up. Oh no, it just snaps. It snaps in. Gotcha. There is like the tiniest of gaps right there. So I'm trying to figure out what to fill that space with. So don't know what the colors are. And I don't want like an ugly color. Maybe even like something like this. Oh, oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Watch this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. You could put stuff on it. This is so fun. I'm gonna put this little baby plant on here again because I love it so much. I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop using it. It's so cute and small. How about a candle and some books? I love it. As far as a rug goes, I don't know if I want one or not. Because like, how would you even get one underneath this? That's my real question. Ooh, but the fuzzy rug is fun. Yeah, let's do it. And we'll put a nice painting right here and perhaps the same painting. There we go. I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Next, we're moving on to the kitchen. Honestly, if I wanted to give us more space, I could just this over to the side a bit. And now we have even more space to work with. That is actually laughably large. I didn't put wallpaper in here. I didn't even notice. Oops. That is shockingly big. Like, too big. What am I gonna do with all this space? And then I could have an island too. You know what? Actually, it's fine. I'm gonna put the sink right there in the middle. And then right behind that, I'm gonna put the stove. Should make a nice like focal point in the center of the kitchen. Gorgeous. Okay, we've got some upper cabinets. Let me put in a trash can before people lose their minds. I will also put in an outdoor trash can right back here. Some gorgeous bar stools. I love these. They're so pretty. And let's put in maybe like a microwave. We have a lot of room for activity in here. So I mean, like get yourself an espresso machine right by the window, you know what I mean? What if I had a whole area over here for a pet? Your pet needs love and two. I'll even put like a little leash thing right above. What? We do have room for like a cool hutch. We could do this one because it's not necessarily kitchen, but it's got, it's got like some room for whatever. I say we put the dog food on. Like this is where we hold the dog food or cat food. I'm gonna do dog. Sorry, cat people. Some pots, why not? Oh, well, since we have a dog, why don't we have some little like doggy treats set out? That could be fun. I'm gonna put this teddy bear here because I think it's the right thing to do. Okay, I've added in a few decorations there. And then over here, I like the idea of doing like a couple of mugs right by the coffee machine. There we go, I love it. Cute kitchen. Oh wait, one more thing before we go. We need plants. I love this hanging plant so much. I wanna like put it by the fridge. And then I need one that's like next to this just to fill in a gap. Perfect. I cannot believe I forgot to do wallpaper in here. That is so silly. Let's do something like that. I don't know how that looks. Hopefully good. We can have a pretty long table in here. I'm gonna try something crazy. I'm gonna do those one color and those a different color. Please work. <laughs> Please be good. Now I need a big rug for this room. That rug's actually beautiful centerpiece. Love it. Okay, we've got some curtains. Why do these look so puny in this room? I need something with substance, baby, substance. These walls are just so big. I don't know how to fill in the space, except for with like giant gallery walls. So I think I'm also also gonna add sconces in here too. Okay, that helps a little bit. I am gonna add two trees to the corner and 
and I'm gonna call it there. Moving on to the living room. Definitely need a fireplace right off the bat, I already know. We need a TV above that fireplace. I will accept nothing else. Should I do a sectional? We could do something like that, which is kind of cool. Actually, I might flip it. Might do it like this. Although an L-shaped couch could be really nice too. I don't know. No, you know what? I'm sticking with my original plan. I'm going with this. All of these coffee tables are going to be way too big now. So let's use this little guy. Probably won't match the aesthetic at all. We need a nice big rug. Maybe if I do it like this, I can actually get a bigger coffee table because that looked so sad. They still look a bit weird. They're just like slightly too big. My sectional idea is going out the window. I'm too frustrated. Of course, now the couches aren't going to match because this game hates me. I'm gonna do my best in black and white that I can to match these sofas, but I am not making any promises at all. I am gonna use this lamp, maybe back here. It seems a little silly to have a lamp by a fireplace. You've already got a source of light. Okay, let's get like a really low end table. I think that's super cool. And let's do a candle since we have a lamp right over there. Okay, I just built a custom bookshelf with the new kit, the book nook kit. I can make like a modular bookshelf thing. Just change the swatches. That looks so cool. Oh my God, I love that kit. I'm gonna put some plants on either side of this bad boy. Little tray here with a book and a mug. Cute. Maybe I move this over here because I want like a cool chair. Over here, I'm gonna put the bonsai tree and then I'm also going to put an easel. This is just a little activity station right over here. Some curtains there. And honestly, I think... No, I'll add a piece of artwork and then I'm gonna call it. There we go, beautiful. Moving on to the upstairs. Let's add some artwork in the hallway up here. Okay, I've added a random little assortment of things over here with a mirror behind it, beautiful. Plant in the corner there. Cozy little couch right here, that's cute. With a little rug. And right here, I'm going to put a chess table. The windows are a little off center and that does kind of hurt, but I must look away. Let's start with this bathroom. I am not going to go nearly as hard on this bathroom as I did downstairs. It's too much. It'll be getting the old fat and treatment. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. You have a shower, bath. I'll do the same thing here with the sink. A little light in between, just like last time. The robe over there. Oh, this is such a perfect towel. Let's put this right there. Actually, let's put it there because we do have room for one of these cabinets. And I love these. I'm gonna add two towels. Here's some toothbrush holders, another toilet paper. <laughs> Speaking of toilet paper, there you go. Okay, we've got some stuff up there. I've got a mirror. I think I'm just gonna put down a rug. I might put down this big fuzzy one. All right, let's move into the first bedroom. I've got a desk in here because I wanted to make sure somebody had a computer. Should probably get a bed though, right? That seems more important. Okay, we've got this super cute bed. Let's put down some end tables. Should we go with these like mirrored ones? They're sort of cool. Quirky. But let's get some lamps. Do they reflect? I actually don't know if they do. Are they mirrored? Did I make that up? <laughs> Okay, I love this rug, but there's like too many patterns going on. So I might switch this with more of like a solid bedding. A little seat at the end of the bed. Oh, a dresser. That's what I need. How the heck am I gonna do this? I could maybe sort of do something like this. It just looks a little bit funny, doesn't it? I could squeeze it in right there. It's very hidden. I and mean, then I could keep the desk like the focal point. I also would love to put this bookshelf in here. I just think it's so fun. Collage of photos, some plants, maybe a little candle. And I think a fun chair could be cool. I'm putting a mirror over there. I know that that would scare the life out of me if I woke up and saw myself immediately, but this is a game. All right, I think I'm done with that room. Moving on to the final room. I'm so happy right now. I actually don't know where to put the bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, those are fun. Let's use those. I'm not even totally sure how these candles are sitting on those tables. They do seem like they're floating a bit, but that sort of adds to the magic. This rug situation is making me rethink this. I think I might move the bed here. I think I'm also going to put a desk in this room. I'm gonna put it in the corner. I'm gonna put a lamp here. Yes, this is the only lamp that I like to use. Don't come for me for using the same lamp twice. It's my comfort lamp. I'll use a cute heart chair though. All is forgiven, I'm sure. Oh, cow print. Yeah, for sure. Put some fun skateboards on the wall. It'd be cool if I could get like a small, where's that small fuzzy rug? Oh wait, I already have a fuzzy rug. <laughs> I was about to do double fuzz. I have a fuzzy rug right behind me too. What can I say? I love a fuzzy rug. I'm putting down a dog. Put a mirror above this. Put a plant over there. A basket of apples. Don't ask questions. I'm putting another bunny. What are you gonna do? Say no. And I think right here, I decided that I wanted to put like a cute little love seat. So cute. I think I'm gonna put a flamingo. That was the first thing that popped into my head was put a flamingo down. So I simply had 
to accept. I will put down my favorite mirror of all time, of course. And over here, perhaps some art. And I think that is where I'm calling it. I think I have completed the house. I really put my all into that. I put my all into it. Wait, did I say I was gonna put this on the gallery? I'm literally doing it in black and white. I bet it's gonna look so so dumb. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, now's the moment of truth. It's time to turn the colors back on. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, my game is so much more vibrant than I remember. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> green? Oh God. Oh wait, the whole thing is green. Okay, Um. wow. Well, green is not what I thought it was gonna be. That really throws me off. I do not like that. Okay, shall we take a pe- This is gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great, off to a fantastic start. Let's see. Okay, I got the flooring color right. The walls are a lot of brown. Um, let's, just, let's go in here first. Let's go in the amazing bathroom that I spent so long on. <gasps> oh no! Um, okay, blue flooring, pink curtains, gold sinks. What's that, orange? Oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. Oh, why is there so much brown? Ew! <laughs> Pink table. Oh my god. The colors. Why is there so much orange? I like those cups. I don't like this at all. I love the bar stools. I think those are great. Let's go in here. Oh boy. <laughs> this is super bad. <laughs> this is horrible. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Not bad. Not bad. My two-tone chair situation did not pay off. That did not pay off. It does not look good. Wow. Oh, yikes. Literally not like a single- What is with all the yellow? Not a single room looks the way that I wanted it to. Shall we go upstairs? Let's start in here. Okay. Um, okay. The windows are like off-center. Like not off-center, but like off-center this way too. Oh my god. Okay, let's go into the bathroom. <laughs> Right. Oh my god, this is horrible. Okay, first bedroom. I don't hate it. I love the wallpaper. This isn't too bad. We got a lot of pink, like a lot of pink, and then like orange. The gold is so bad. All oh, the lamps are yellow and orange. Oh my god. Oh, look at that candle. What swatch is that? Okay, last but certainly not least, this bedroom. I'm scared. I don't even want to do it. Ew. How can it have been so bad? This was not a sleigh. <laughs> oh my god, I spent hours on this house and literally every room is a flop. Every single room is a flop. Even the outside is a flop. Like, come on. We just, we need to go back into black and white. Look. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed that hot mess express. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.